Alrighty, time to finally jump back on the green car. Kind of took a little break for a week, been playing around, cleaning the garage, just other odds and ends, so time to play around with this again. I've got some measurements drawn up for, well not measurements, a little br blueprint drawn up for bending a main hoop. I'm gonna try and at least bend one half of it and see how our angles and what not turn out and see if my measurements are okay. So see if I've watched Colin enough with the pipe bender that I know how to use it. So see what happens here. Just let the playing around begin. This piece long, so that's okay. So that might actually be pretty darn close. I suppose let's take two inches off of it. See what happens. Inch and a quarter. <laughs> I'll be generous. <laughs> So there's the question for you. Do you trim more off of it or do you bend this a little more? I think you'd want to cut more off the bottom. But if we bent it a little more and hold it tighter, because right now this is going upward still. Not that this is, and this is still at an angle if you slightly look at it. Yeah, I guess you could. Because I like the height of where this is meeting up. The bend right here is meeting up with the body line really nicely at the moment. So if we put like another five degrees in it, possibly. Mm, yeah, I don't even know if you'll need that much. But. Yeah, I want to keep it as tight as possible. Uh, that could have been a good way to break a window. Mm -hmm. And then too, once we get this bent to where we're somewhat happy, I gotta throw the seat back in here to see how it clears the seat. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's go a little farther on this bend. <clears throat> I think we could have done more than 20 degrees on this bend, though. Well, 
we definitely could have done one in 20 meters. But now that's going to mess up that bend. You should just throw the seat in here and see how that fits with the seat in here. Yeah, but I'm not happy with this. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, this is still basically straight up and down. Or unless we take a little bit more height off of it. Lower it slightly more. And then I can probably, yeah, let's take a half inch off of it. See what happens. I mean, in reality, that's better. Yeah. It's still, it's not bad. It's probably gonna be. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty darn close. In reality, yeah. Yeah, and plus on the on the actual piece, then you can just, you know, make that bend a little more. Yeah, but then and then that the top changes one, your bend up here. And then make that top one back to like 65. Maybe. Because either way, I think this could be like a 20, almost a 25 degree bend. Yeah, do 25 degrees here and 60. Because what did you do on that one? You did 20? Or it would be 70 degrees here because we went 75. Roughly. Alright, that's a pose. I'll bolt the seat back in here. downfall of having a coop. Ugh. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. Fuck yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, that actually fits really good. Wow. I'm pretty stoked with that. Yeah, just a slight bit of angle. It matches back. Hell yeah. Wow. And I can take this, it's just resting on this clip right now. I can take that out and put a little more angle in it just in case I do want to put the seat farther back in the future. Because right now it's not even meeting the full angle of that, at least for where it's placed, because I can actually place it in the center of there unlike how I thought I was going to be able to, I thought I was going to have to be like slammed against the back of this plate here. Mm -hmm. Is this, I got to put a plate around here to reinforce it. And then I thought the pipe was going to have to be slammed up against the corner of it, but it can actually sit pretty centered. So. Cool. 
Yeah, that'll work good. Are you just gonna make little like triangle pieces for the corners? Yeah, I'll just cut. I gotta. I'll make use some of the thicker plate I got laying around for that since that'll be the floor. I might actually just use a piece of angle iron. <laughs> and then it'll get tied into the side of here. Oh, yeah. And around the bottom. So let's just help strengthen yeah. everything up even more, then, probably. Yeah. So. Well, this is cool. Yeah, that worked, that worked out good. Yeah, it fits right perfectly over the top of the seat. Yeah, here I'll. Surprisingly, it's a little bit more of a gap than I was looking for over here, but. I don't know. For what this car is, I don't know if I'm going to let my OCD overly kill me on that. Because if I can just make something simple like that work, I'm going to make something simple like that work. This is going to be great. Yeah, plus, you can always make little small tweaks to the, you know, the actual piece of pipe. Yeah, that's for sure. All right, time to continue on cage preparation. Last night, we got the part of the main hoop mocked up, just half of it, just to figure out the bends and see if we had good guesses on our angles. And yeah, luckily it came out all right. I'm still laying right there. So tonight, taking the seat back out of it, and I'm going to make the reinforcement plates for down on the floor. That way, once we get the hoop bent up, we can get it welded in and just keep going from there all righty so got myself three templates made up got myself some metal here not too sure if i'm gonna use this piece or these ones or some of the plate that i got a couple weeks ago but you will find out i'm just gonna get to cutting so these will be done in a second just like that all of our pieces are on the ground i gotta go take them into the garage now and get them all cleaned up so Get that done here in just a second. Well, my plasma table is running a bit slow tonight, but finally got them all done, cleaned up. Still got to wire wheel them. And then also got to prep the car. Got my bucket seat out of there if I didn't say that already. So, those guys are going to be going in the corner here. Going to have a main plate, a side, and another side, so... That's my plan for it. Everybody kind of does it different. I do like the styles where people are building an arch up and having like a pedestal for it to rest on here, but I don't know. I've already designed it this way. I've already got my measurements for doing it that way, so I know it wouldn't take too much to redo those thoughts, but I'm happy with how that turned out, and for this car, we're going to roll with that. So, got to clean up inside the car yet and wire wheel the plates. And I'm going to get them tacked in there yet tonight, maybe.